Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to a video tutorial for Valkyrie Operation. So this is one of the brand new stuff that has been added to the game recently. Um, hopefully you guys have been having fun with all the brand new content, the six lane gameplay, the Valkyrie Operation, and of course the Kiawawa rank system um, that allows you to upgrade any of the costumes um, that is available for upgrades in uh, the game itself. So anyway guys, Today's video is mainly to focus on Valkyrie Operation which is this adorable Valkyrie button here below the costume change uh, or what, rather the wardrobe button so Valkyrie Operation so let's tap that and take a look at the content itself very nice design here going on and of course we have uh, Reyna you know taking care of all the Valkyrie Operations here um, which is strange enough because Rena is a hacker so <laughs> I don't understand why is Valkyrie Operations linked to a hacker uh, it should have been more to Kaname's kind of thing because she is the one that's organizing stuff uh, for Valkyrie and all that so anyway guys you can see I've cleared all the missions available for the daily tab this is under daily so yes uh, we're going to talk about all the different buttons that is under uh, Valkyrie Operations as for now so daily so as you can see the timer here basically says i have only one hour left before it resets uh so i've cleared all of them so wonderful stuff then of course this is weekly as you can see i've also cleared the entire weekly missions and of course there is another three days before it resets to a brand new list of missions and of course the very small tab which is the most important one which is uta hime or rather also known as the diva tab so if you're wondering what the Japanese text says here, uh, it translates basically that um, you can gain Utahime op uh, operations. Yeah, so the missions are called operations. Um, yeah, from playing songs. Yeah, so play songs to gain Utahime operations to appear. Now, all right, so. If you're wondering which song should I play, well basically any song that you play, even the event daily songs, uh, they do produce out Utahime operations, um, but I don't recommend playing the event daily songs that give you resources. Um, just like the ticketing events, the daily events uh, don't really produce out um, Utahime operations as much. Uh, as the normal songs that you get from the standard lives so yeah anyway guys um, what is this at the top here basically this shows you how many missions are being currently run at one go so you can have a total of five missions running at one go okay but do take note whenever you run a mission with a team of Valkyries that particular those Valkyries that are in those that team are not selectable um, to send out for another mission so yeah you need to have a whole list of Valkyries available in, under your arsenal to make things go a bit more smoother to clear missions way faster the kind of thing so pay attention to that and uh, time yourself well um, what missions you will need to clear um, next especially since they come with the series you know um, for that mission so yeah let's say for example this one this one is under the Chojukyu Yosai Makuros uh, series so that's the first generation my cross so if you use Valkyries from that generation it will give you that um, special boost to clear the uh, operation uh, with a great clear or a standard clear you know that kind of thing Okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys how you can actually um, optimize play for Uta Macross at this point of time. Now in the past, um, not playing Uta Macross and having a break uh, has always been an enjoyable thing. Sadly to say now with Valkyrie Operation, uh, you might have to play a bit more especially if you want to unlock certain items for your Kiawawa rank um, or even gaining those rare items, uh, singing stones and all this. Uh, I know there is currently a bug as of this time um, uh, 
of recording of the video on the 30th of August 2018. If you are watching this video in the future after this date, that bug might have been fixed. But so far at this point of time, um, there is a bug going on where you clear a uh, Utahime operation and the rewards is actually uh, supposed to give you singing stones but somehow or rather those singing stones do not get deposited in the present or even your um, singing stone amount here at the top yeah so there is a bug going on right now that um, we are losing out on obtaining singing stones from Valkyrie operations Dana does know about this issue and they are currently working on it so don't worry guys um, for you guys in the future, hopefully um, that bug has already been fixed uh, at this point of time that you're watching this video uh, learning about Valkyrie operations. Thank you guys for watching the video <laughs> and learning more about Uta Macross from the past me to the future you guys. So anyway <laughs> guys, uh, we're going to talk about how you can optimize play um, for Uta Macross at this point of time from this update. Um, that I have experienced for myself uh, and of course um, through lots of trial and error. So as you can see, my energy is almost maxed. Now, while in the past videos that I've talked about um, from clear clearing events like the ticketing events, the high score events and of course the uh, Kuji style events, um, it was always recommended that you will have the timer always counting down it is still the case with Valkyrie operation running but this time round there is one other thing you need to pay attention to that is you should have your energy bar close to maxing out but the timer running so pay attention to this I repeat again it is best to have your energy almost maxed out but with the timer running so guys why is this so let's uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how you can actually obtain Utahime operations from playing a live and of course why um, playing a live of a lower difficulty is now very crucial to the Valkyrie operation system so here we go I'm I'm just gonna show you guys for example okay um, it is actually um, okay to play easy, normal or hard. You don't have to play very hard or extreme to gain any of the Valkyrie operations to appear. You can actually just play easy and then of course there is a chance that the mission or operation will appear. Um, yeah, so if you want to collect lots of um, uh, Utahime operations for example, just play easy and then um, especially during non-event periods just grind easy uh, they, you'll be able to obtain a lot of uh, Utahime operations and gain all the rare stuff available um, from their rewards okay so let's uh, I'm just gonna do a fast forward of the gameplay and of course to show you guys that I've obtained the uh, Utahime operation all right Okay, so let me talk about team setup for Valkyrie Operation Collection uh, or rather Utahime Operations. Um, you don't have to have a high score team setup. You can just go with a luck team to collect all the resources that you need for unlocking your episode plate stats um, or even gain rare episode plates from the song itself. Each different... each individual song out there in normal tabs and even the events have a certain amount of uh, episode plates stuck to them so basically if you play that song you gain you are able to get the these episode plates from this song itself now we don't really know exactly what episode plates are belonging to that song uh, so far no one out there has created a list um, regarding this matter so if you guys want to help the community and want to figure out what episode plate belongs to which song uh, do do let me know in the comments of this video down below uh, we can work things around and of course um, I will also need or rather I'll also seek out help 
um, from the fandom. Uh, whoever wants to create a list for something important for Valkyrie Operation, I will mention later in this uh, near end of the video. So guys, uh, I have a team set up here for luck. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going with a luck setup. It doesn't really matter um, what episode plates you have equipped to your um, divas because you're just going to have to play the song and clear it and that's it. So, might as well just earn some resources while playing the song at the meantime. So, as you can see, I'm going to go with easy. Let's do this. And I'm going to fast forward the video for time keeps sake. Okay, we've completed the live. Um, and of course, there's one other thing I need to mention for this um, playstyle for Valkyrie Operation is the best time to up your diva's proficiency levels if you guys don't know what diva proficiency is uh, i'll leave an eye card for the video talking about diva proficiency and the link in the description down below if you guys have no idea what the eye card is and of course it is the best time to actually clear the entire board of rewards for the difficulty of that song because well, we all know that we won't touch easy and, and normal and hard <laughs> um, for, I guess, um, more hardcore players. Um, those that have um, difficulties with um, music games will probably play the easier uh, difficulties in the game. There's no wrong to it. Um, it's always a good way to enjoy the game however you wish to. I do enjoy playing easy, normal and hard once in a while to have a relaxing pace and of course to reteach myself um, the timing and all that for pressing notes. So yeah, easy difficulty songs are actually very beneficial in certain um, matters. So anyway guys, I'm gonna tap OK and hopefully we will see um, um, me obtaining a Utahime uh, operation. So. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we get it. Here we go. All right, so I managed to obtain a episode plate from um, this song. So yeah, so this is why I mean collecting resources. Um, you know, don't waste the play for Valkyrie operations. Yeah. So here we go. So we do get the notification here uh, that we did receive a um, Utahime operation. So we're gonna take a look at that right now and of course first thing you take note there is a timer at the top above the counter for the mission duration so don't don't uh don't get um how to say confused regarding which timer is um, you know counting down for what matter okay the pink timer here basically is the timer that um tells you you need to do this mission before this timer runs out now what is this timer for there is a lot to explain about this timer so i'm gonna leave that to the last thing right now so guys we're gonna talk about the other stuff that you can see on the screen first first of all this mission belongs to mikumo so why is it so important well because the doll the random the rare rewards that you will get from this mission is a mikumo kawawa doll Okay, so this dolls, well, basically, um, it's related to the Kawawa rank. Um, so I will not explain what the Kawawa dolls are meant for until the uh, uh, Kawawa rank video is up. So guys, uh, we're just going to talk about how you can actually handle Valkyrie operations. That's what this video is for. Okay, and of course, the rewards that are lighted up here, um, the items basically are the confirmed rewards you will get from completing this mission. And of course you have this level difficulty sign and of course if you see the bl uh, blinking new, then there's this singing stone appearance here. Basically by clearing this mission, you will also obtain 5 singing stones as rewards. So that's fantastic. So now, why is the skulls for the difficulty one littered green and the rest are black because this mission, this operation can be leveled up. What? You, okay, so I'm, I'm sure most of you guys do not know about this. 
Uh, I'm sure most of you guys just clear the mission whenever you obtain them. Um, yeah, uh, apparently you can level up the Utahime operation uh, and of course gain rarer items from um, clearing a higher difficulty operation. So let's do this. We're going to show you guys how you can actually um, level up the mission itself. I don't need to explain this timer button because I think it's quite explanatory. Uh, explanatory itself uh, basically you need to spend 1 hour 40 minutes for of waiting time for this mission to clear before you can claim the rewards so yeah I will get back to this at closer to the last part of the video I guess so because this is this is really um, the most um, unimportant um, button to the Valkyrie operation as of now so guys we're gonna go back to the song page um, and we're gonna play the same song that we got this mission for. Now, each song produces um, random divas. So, and but the thing is, they are random in their own pool of divas. So, let's say for example, Room Pika maybe has Freya, Mikumo, and Kanami. I don't know who is available inside, but you know, playing Room Pika will give you those diva operations so we what we want to do now is level up mikumo's operation so we're gonna try playing again so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna show you guys by playing normal um and show you that each difficulty actually doesn't really matter uh, each has its own um generous percentage of chance to um release the utahime operation to you guys at the end of the song so guys i'm gonna just gonna play this um, I'm gonna fast forward it as usual to um, to save time for the video because I expect I, I expect this um, explanation video to be pretty long. <laughs> okay, guys. So as you can see, I did not get a perfect full combo. I actually. Um, getting a full combo, perfect full combo doesn't really matter when it comes to Valkyrie operations. You can even um, break and miss a lot and you still have a chance of getting the uh, Utahime operation. So anyway guys, let's see if we get it. Oh, we did get another episode plate, so that's fantastic. So <laughs> yeah, so um, the chance of having Utahime operations appear is not 100%. There is a chance that it will not appear just like what we have um, witnessed. It did not appear at all, so we're gonna have to play again. So guys, uh, bear with me. I'm just gonna show you guys different difficulties, um, and of course whether they 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 play a part in the rates of uh, having the Ut Utahime operations appear or not. So as you can see, we just cleared normal and it did not appear. So yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. I've tested um, the different difficulties beforehand and uh, I can honestly say that it doesn't really matter uh, which difficulty you play so for me personally I would say I would recommend you guys to play at easy or normal um, to conserve the amount of energy available um, within your level or player rank You know, it's pretty much uh, obvious that it'll be better to play in easy because, um, yeah, you use the least amount of energy to summon out the most amount of um, Utahime operations. Do take note um, that while I'm doing this recording, I don't have the sound um, playing. So I'm actually playing the lives um, with no sound. I'm just tapping at the screen accordingly to what I see. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I do when I'm uh, playing the game at work. Because I don't want my colleagues to hear the music. So I, I, I play with the game muted. So this is how I train accuracy. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> probably... Um, you've heard me mention about this before in the past videos uh, 
Alright, so hopefully we will be able to obtain another Utahime operation and level up Mikumo. We are getting a lot of episode plates. This has never happened before. No? Okay, so as you can see, normal heart really didn't give you the uh, operation, so... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do very hard. I'm not gonna do extreme because I don't really want to put myself in a pickle just for demonstration purposes and I want to conserve as much energy for demonstration purposes so yeah guys okay we're gonna do very hard right now okay no no plates with high luck value so I'm just gonna go with whatever okay so I purposely broke the, in this playthrough just to show you guys that um, you don't have to get a full combo or perfect full combo to try and get an operation out. So hopefully we'll get it out. There we go. So okay, you'll notice that we got Mikumo again and then of course it shows you the, the skulls now too. So yeah, we can tap it. Okay, then you can notice that you know, now it's at level 2. So the max is level 3. Uh, for me at this point of time. Now, there is a way to increase um, the level's max capabilities. Basically, all you have to do is, well, if you tap this, alright, so you see all Utahime operations. There you go, so you can see the max is actually 5 skulls. So, how do you gain the 5 skulls? Well, Okay, so that it, it actually described to you entirely how you can actually upgrade your um, the difficulty or rather the yeah the difficulty of the operation itself. Then of course it will give you better rewards. Then of course there is this very very exclusive medal, yeah, that you can add to your profile if you have the difficulty maxed out. Okay, so yeah, then the way to max. To increase the max difficulty, um, remember the diva affections on the main screen where you tap and hold the diva, then you you gain the exp. Well, the affection of the diva now is used to level up the uh, yeah the max difficulty for that utahime. So, if you are playing to gain um, the kawawa dolls, you know for that particular diva having that diva's affection is now very crucial so for you guys who have only been using one particular diva all the way it's time to touch the rest of the other girls and basara <laughs> yes i meant it that way <laughs> anyway, guys uh jokes aside yes it's time for you guys to level up your diva's uh affections and yeah, it actually helps to increase the max level of the Valkyrie operations or rather Uta Hime operations difficulty. Yeah, so as you can see. And of course, the higher the, the difficulty, the rarer the items you'll get from the rewards. And there we go, you can see it by yourself. Um, this is a loop cycle. So Valkyrie operation is linked with Kawawa rank. Because when you use the items you gain from Valkyrie Operation to power up your costumes, they when they rank up, they will power up your mission's max difficulty level as well. So guys, if you have not been doing uh, proper gameplay as of in the past, it is time to learn how to play the game properly if you want to do well in future high score ranking because a lot of this new mechanics is gonna make uh, things a lot more competitive uh, so guys hopefully you've been paying attention okay so we're gonna try and max out Mikumo here um, but before that I'm gonna show you guys that this timer resets every time I level up Mikumo. Uh, yeah, so 
if you want to play smart, make use of the timer and count the energies that you need to obtain the next level up of your Utahime operation. So for example, every time the reset happens, you basically have about um, 59 minutes you know, before this mission disappears, you know, which is what you do not want. So you have to obtain the Utahime operation level up before the timer runs out. So please guys, play safe. Give at least a 10 minute or 5 minute leeway you know, before this mission disappears, you know, to try and obtain um, the level up for this uh, operation itself. Um, do take note, each song that you play or each live that you play roughly takes about a minute and a half. So, if one, if you play one time and you don't get the level up, you're gonna have to play again. So, calculate your, for yourself how much leeway time that you need in order to obtain the next level up for the Utahime operation itself. So guys, I will see you guys in maybe another 50 minutes later <laughs> into the future where I will show you guys that this timer can be reset by leveling up your uh, Utahime operations. Okay guys, welcome back! And right now, as you can see, the timer is at 8 minutes. So we've got 8 minutes to try and level up Mikumo again. So let's go out into the... Oh, the day reset. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. So we're going to have to spend a bit more time to load up the screen. Yeah, there we go. So collecting all the rewards. Oh! Oh, yay! Free stuff! So, yeah, brand new day, brand new stuff. Uh, just gonna do a quick screen capture. There we go. Toss it aside. Okay, so <laughs> lots of wonderful stuff to give to obtain um, during this period for 14 days. So guys, uh, make sure you do collect it. Uh, I know this information will not make any sense for those who are watching the video much later into the future. <laughs> but yes, during this time periods, we are actually getting lots of free stuff. So. Yay, Banzai for that. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's get back to the music screen. We're gonna play um, Room Tika again to level up Mikumo. We still got like 8 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly close all this up. Any, any new notifications other than the, the banners? No. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so we're here again. I'm gonna play easy, uh, easy just to conserve energy. Hey, picking up a friend. Here we go, guys. Once again, fast forwarding. As you can see, it took a few tries, so that's why you needed as much energy as possible um, so that you don't miss out on the timer's, um, you know, chance of leveling up. There we go, so we did max out Mikumo's um, operation in the nick of time. Then, as you can see, the timer is resetted, so with all this information in mind, make use of the timer to the full extent because you can actually regain energy while waiting you know within this time limit that they've given you yeah so fantastic stuff so um okay we're gonna talk about sending your valkyries to clear the um operation right now so because mikomo is from the macross delta series um unlike the dailies where they have the image here and of course the logo um, they have the Divas um, Chibi image here with the series here. So we're going to send a team of Macross Delta uh, Valkyries because uh, they will have the special series bonus. So when you use uh, Valkyries from the series itself, it reduces the time. And uh, of course, uh, no, sorry, the time reduction is actually on how many Valkyries you have in your team. 
So yeah, uh, let's say for example if I were to remove Yeah, so if I were to remove you notice that the timer goes up Yeah, so and the other thing that you need to take note of is that the total um, Strength attack power and HP uh, is Meets the requirement of the mission itself. So the mission requirements are at the top here and of course the time duration so yeah um, because I don't have a full team, that's why the timer went up uh, from 3 hours to 4 hours or so. So yeah, do take note of that. Um, okay, we're gonna have to equip, let's see, okay, we're gonna put Draken in. So, um, alright, so we're gonna send this team out. Um, apparently, no, I can't send this team out because there's not enough power. Oh my goodness. This mission requires a very strong set of Valkyries, so I guess I have to change Chuck out. Um, probably put Messer in. So there we go. There we go. We have the required amount now. Oops. Okay, so because Messer, I, I took it out from this team. That's why he's missing. So we're gonna send this team out to settle Mikumo's challenge. And of course, straight away you can see that uh, if you send it in the fighter plane mode you will gain the chance of uh, obtaining more of these items which is used for um, those special unlocks like the skills for the episode plates and of course if you tap and then change the, to the uh, gear walk mode you will have more chance of getting the currency of the game and of course if you tap into the battle right mode you will have more attack power up so depends on you um, whichever one you want the most, I'm gonna go with this because resources are always never enough. So let's send it out. Alright, so that's pretty much how you do um, the Valkyrie operation um, stuff. Uh, if you want to know what the rest of the buttons are, like this one basically it sorts out the um, waiting periods. So like the longer ones at the top and the shorter ones at the bottom, that kind of thing. So yeah, so as you can see, I have one mission uh, on the go right now, which is the one here for Mikumo. So I have 1 hour 59 minutes um, to go before it completes. So I'll see you guys once this is done later on. Alright guys, welcome to the past, present or future. <laughs> well, it's the present for me, but it might be the past for you guys or even the future if you're watching from there. Anyways, um, finally we have completed the operation. As you can see, I've done another two more just in case. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the various, two various uh, results you probably might be able to get. Hopefully, I will get both of them. Alright, so we're gonna start with this one first. Um, the Mikumo one that we've been working hard to get it maxed out. So here we go. Hopefully it gives us the great success, then I can show you the animation for it. Nope, so here we go, we have the regular success. Regular success. I am fumbling early in the morning, okay, so... <laughs> um, this part of the recording is uh, right now early in the morning for me, I just woke up so I had to continue it. Um, yeah, the past few portions of the video was actually recorded late at night, so yeah. Alright, so here we go. Um, just to show you guys that there might be a bug, so you can see that my singing stones have been at 555 since the beginning of this portion of the video. Um, and yeah, there is a bug that the singing stones do not appear, um, even in the rewards list. So, yeah, hopefully uh, for you guys in the future, this bug has been fixed. Um, but as of now, it is still not settled yet. So, okay. Um, we're going to tap the other two. Hopefully they will show us a great success animation. Nope, still regular. Okay. Alright, so wonderful stuff with the... Um, yeah, middle size cross stone. Yeah, for the costume upgrade. Okay, last one. And there we go, we have the great success animation right there. So, what happens when you have a great success 
Uh, well, basically, this portion of the rewards appear. Yeah, so as you can see, I've gotten three episode plates. Um, and they are banned under the great success. So now, if you get a great success, you will have bonus rewards. So this is fantastic. So I've gotten three episode plates, as you can see. Um, they do show you if you tap them, they do show you the images of the episode plates that we've obtained from the mission itself, or rather the operation. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it on Valkyrie Operations. Hopefully, you guys understood all the content that I've mentioned, especially regarding the Utahime tab and how you can upgrade your operation difficulty. Uh, unlike the daily ones, these are come default, you cannot upgrade them no matter how. So guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so I'm going to mention something um, that I talked about earlier in the video uh, regarding um, seeking help to collect data for Valkyrie Operation. And that is the collection of data on the lives that you play and what uh, divas appear from them for Valkyrie Operation. So I... I'm looking for people who is willing to help or rather fans who are playing the game who is willing to help um, edit the document, adding in the content and knowledge for the appearance of the divas for the particular songs. Um, if you are if capable of helping me do a, a list, a chart list up, I, I have actually done a draft um, recently for uh, accordingly with this video. So I'll leave that link in the description down below. Hopefully, um, the community is able to help, and then of course we can build up a whole list of uh, divas appearing from whichever song. So let's say, for example, you want to upgrade your um, Utahime operation for the particular diva. Um, you you will definitely know which song you can play, uh, especially if you are focusing on uh, upgrading your diva proficiency. Uh, or even, you know, trying to full combo um, that particular song's difficulty. Um, that list will definitely help you out um, so that you don't end up wasting away your energy or even your uh, energy restoration items or even your singing stones. You know, trying to get that particular diva's operation to upgrade and then by playing the wrong song, you get, up, uh, you get something different. So guys, uh, hopefully the community is kind enough to help uh, each other and yeah if you want to help out do let me know in the comment section of this video down below or even on the Facebook group that I am administrating uh, Macross Space Time Day Culture do join us there if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial Uta Macross video until then bye